organization. It's about a year old, and it's called Journeys in Film. And this, it's, I'm really excited about this. As you know, I have two daughters. One's a senior in high school. One's just about to enter middle school. And this is a program that's um, it's, it's geared toward middle school age kids. And it's, 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 um, they, they've, they've sort of designed a curriculum around showing kids of this age foreign films. Mm -hmm. for, films that are age and content appropriate to that, you know, to that age group. And usually the main characters in these films would be kids their age, or at least one of the characters would be. And um, it's, it's, it's a fantastic program. You know, we all know that these kids are so media savvy now, and, and they're, they seem to have an endless appetite for watching films. So this, the idea behind this is to show these foreign films um, and integrate them with a curriculum mm -hmm. so they can learn geography, history, language arts, math, everything, um, using these films as a, as a launching pad and um, also introducing them to other cultures yeah, and, and teaching and tolerance. Things they would never see, movies yeah. they would never see. Right. I mean, a lot of these kids, uh, this, this, uh, the pilot program was started about a year ago in about seven cities around the country, and Canada too. And they found that um, when they've done you know, research on the follow-up on this thing, they found that some of these kids have, first of all, never seen a foreign film. Mm -hmm. you know, they're, they're kind of saturated with American movies. And um, the response was amazing. They, um, you know their 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 willingness to to you know actually maybe meet people from this country or or uh, it, learn it's, about it, it. it sparks uh, it inspires curiosity about learning more about that culture. It's it's a really really and good idea. And keep them busy when they're in middle school because I worry about middle school. Sure, I think those you want are you want scary you, you want to stimulate them and and those are the years when I think these kinds of images and these kinds of attitudes once if they're formed at that age they really they tend to stick. Mm -hmm. And whereas maybe if a, a child is introduced to a culture later on in college age, college age even, it might not have as much, um, you know, an impact, mm -hmm. lasting impact. So this is a wonderful organization. If people want to um, look into it, it's um, www.journeysinfilm.org. And um, I would just, you know, I want to invite policymakers and educators in Los Angeles to to look into it and and get behind it and even even filmmakers and people in the film industry to, to get behind it because it's all made up of educators, yeah, you know, filmmakers. I've said this about you before. For some reason, it's a wonderful thing. You, uh, I think, would have self-loathing unless you were taking your success in music in some way like this. Well, thank you. Yeah, I, 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 this, it, ever since I first met you, you're always involved in something with something. So congratulations. Thanks. I find, you know, the busier I am, the more productive. Also, I, I know we got to go. Listen, your dad came over from Lebanon. Lebanon. Moves to Wisconsin, opens a grocery store, has ten kids. At a distance, this is the American dream, is it not? Yeah, it, it is. And, and what did he think of you doing this, becoming an actor, rather than working the store for crying out loud? Well, at, at first it was a little tricky because his idea, you know, I'm from that huge family, and his idea was to kind of keep us all, mm -hmm. in, you know, uh, local. Yeah. and all working in the same kind of family business to, in an effort to, to make sure that everybody stayed, mm -hmm. stayed tight and close. And um, so there was a little bit of uh, resistance about my career choice, but he really came to embrace it. And, you know, even though we did not form a family business, we do stay very family, close which because the, of what That's he the business fostered. of family anyway, right? That's right. All right, good to see you. Thank you very, very Pleasure. much. Yeah. Monk uh, returns March 3rd. Tony Chalhoub, thank you. In a few minutes, uh, we're going to show you Jillian and Tyra. Jillian's on Tyra's show today. We'll show you what they're doing. Uh, this could be a big ski weekend live in Big Bear. And who's coming up? Oh, the Flying Tomato. The Flying Tomato. Crazy Ooh, red hair. got Have the you seen him? gold Olympic medal. Sean White is going to be with us. Well, thanks, you guys. That was a good long stretch. I, I think Thank you, you're doing. Yeah, this is and this thing is. Hi! I thought you were shopping. And I thought you gave back my house key. Besides, I am shopping. I'm on Albertsons.com. It's so easy. I just click on the items I want. It even remembers my favorites for next time. Then I check out and have them delivered the next day. Neato! Hi! And, um, just gonna need your autograph. There you go. For this awkward moment. Albertsons.com. You click, we deliver. Easy. We tried a lot of other diets. The, uh... Pancake. Pancake diet, mm -hmm. the uh, nachos. nachos diet, but we could never find one that we could stick to long term, like the chili dog diet. Mm -hmm. And to get started, all you do is eat a Wiener Schnitzel chili dog and wash it down with a couple of sodas. It's that simple. Mm -hmm.
Tip the scales in your favor at Wiener Schnitzel with chili cheese fries for just $1.29 on the Chili Dog Diet. A diet based on taste. President's Day sale going on now. We're introducing Chaps for Her and Chaps for Boys only at Kohl's. To celebrate, take 30% off all Chaps for Her, Chaps for Boys, 